In today's video, I am showing off how to dynamically spawn in collision shapes using a C++ script and Godot. And this is possible due to Project Nova, which is an extension for Godot allowing C++ scripting. And as you can see here, this is part of my voxel engine I've been working on, and all the blocks have these collision shapes. However, this is not determined beforehand. This is generated by the script. And we can see we can jump down and we have a whole nother set of chunks, which we can do the same thing with. So in our code, this is our chunk.cpp file, and this is how we generate the collisions. So we iterate through this for loop for x, y, and z from zero to 32, and this is the size of our chunk. And if we go up here, we can see down in our build chunk, we create a chunk data, which is this big array that contains all of the blocks and it's the same size. So this just iterates through every block in our chunk. If it's a transparent chunk, we continue, so we stop. If it's not one of the edge blocks and every block around it is not transparent, then we also continue so we don't do anything. But if the block isn't transparent, so it's a full block and it's not completely surrounded, We'll create a new static body 3D and we'll set the position equal to X, Y, and Z, so wherever we found the block. Then we'll create a collision shape and we'll create a box as well. And we set this box's size to be one by one by one. And we set the collision's shape to be the box. So we create a static body, collision shape. We set the collision shape's box or the collision shape's collision type to be a boxed and then we set the box to be one by one by one. And then we add collision as a child to this node. And then we set the collision as a child to body. So this node gets the body and body gets the collision. And then at the end here, we set the body's owner equal to this node. And we do the same thing for collision. And this may not be the most efficient way to do it. And I've been looking at trying to do, instead of spawning in a separate collision for each block, trying to do one collision for chunk and using the polygon collision. However, I haven't got that to work yet. And you may be able to optimize this further and like check adjacent chunks or only do faces. But for now, that's all I got. And not that it pertains to the collisions, but if we go down here, when we call this, what we do is in our world file, we create a bunch of chunks. We create a three by three by three grid of chunks. And then we, we set the position of the chunk. We add the child as a chunk to world. And then we add it to a chunk map. And then for each value in chunk map, we call generate mesh. And this is the code down here. So we get this node, we get a reference to multi mesh which is attached to the chunk here, like so. And then we set use custom data to true, set the instance count to I, we create I up here, and then we iterate through all six directions and we generate faces for each of those. And then at the end, once we have all the faces, we generate the collisions. All right, and if you wanna learn more about how this part works and what emit faces does, you should click on this video where I walk through exactly that and how to make a multi-meshing Godot. And until next time, see ya.